Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Good morning, everybody. Of course, I don't know if you're watching this in the morning, but anyway, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Daily Truths. Hey, I've got to ask you a question this morning. Why do you need a shepherd? <laughs> Why do you need a shepherd in your life? Now, to set up the context of this, remember the wise men had come to Jerusalem. They asked Herod, where is Jesus to be born? Of course, they didn't say Jesus. Where is he who's born king of the Jews? And Herod asked the chief priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees, where is the Messiah to be born? And they said, in Bethlehem. And then they quoted this verse. Listen to this. This is from Micah chapter 5, verse 2. I said a couple days ago, this was written 450 years before Jesus ever came on the scene. No, about 700 years before Jesus ever came on the scene. And it was predicted that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. And this is what the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees told Herod. This is what they said in verse 6 of Matthew chapter 2. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will, listen to this, who will shepherd, who will shepherd, who will shepherd, my people Israel. So Jesus was the shepherd of the people of Israel, the Jewish people. Of course, this was written initially for David at his coronation, at his installation, if you will, as king. And so Jesus was there at the installation of David as king. And now he's the shepherd of the people of Israel. But he's also, as Gentiles, grafted onto the vine as people who believe in Jesus who also, both Jews and Gentiles, are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus is our shepherd. So my question is, why do we need a shepherd? Well, there's three reasons. Number one, we, like sheep, wander. <laughs> in a shepherd, even today, in, in a current day Israel, sheep wander away. And so what does the shepherd have to do? He has to go find them and bring them back. And so it is with us. How many times in your life have you wandered away from church and reading the Bible or just wandered away from the faith completely? And what did Jesus do? Thanks be to God. He sought you out. Maybe he allowed some difficult experience to go through your life, to come into your life. And through that, he reached out and he brought you back. So we wander, but Jesus brings us back. Like sheep, we fall. That's what sheep do. They fall all the time. They fall into pits and ravines and ditches. And what does the shepherd do? He goes and finds them and he lifts them up and bring, brings them out. We, like sheep, fall. Not into a ditch or a ravine, but we fall into sin, right? A temptation comes our way and we say, that looks really good. And we find ourselves succumbing and we fall into sin. And what does our good shepherd do? He reaches out. He lifts us up with his love and forgiveness. He tells us that he died for that, that he conquered it through the triumphant resurrection, and he gives us new life and forgiveness in his name. So we wander like sheep. We fall. We fall into sin like sheep. And finally, number three, we die. <laughs> sheep die. They die easily. Uh, there's many different stories about how easily sheep are frightened, and as a result of that, suddenly have a heart attack, and they die. That's kind of us, right? We die easy. But because we die, we know where we're going. We know we have the promise of eternal life. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have what? Eternal life. And so we wander, we fall, we die. But we have a good shepherd who seeks us out and brings us back. We have a good shepherd who lifts us up with his forgiveness. And we have a good shepherd who, when we die, offers us eternal life so that the moment we leave this earth, we're elevated into the very presence of God. We need a shepherd. And thanks be to God, we have it in Jesus Christ. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Christ. Thank you for listening to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Please like and subscribe, and if led, donate to this ministry. It is greatly appreciated.